Guys, in today's lecture, I'll be introducing the concepts of Lang and Perot. Now, the concept of Lang and Perot was introduced by Ferdinand de Saussure in his A Course on General Linguistics. So, in his seminal work, A Course on General Linguistics, Ferdinand de Saussure introduced the concepts of Lang and Perot. Now, Ferdinand de Saussure believed that language is a system which comprises of two aspects, which he called La Lang and La Perot. So, he uh, believed that language is a system which comprises of two aspects. And he named those two aspects as La Lang, which roughly translates as the Lang, and La Perot. The parole. So, together, lang and parole constitutes language. Together, they constitute language as such. Now, let's take a look at what lang and parole actually is. Let's go to the definitions of lang and parole. So, lang, the language system which comprises the grammar, the vocabulary, the pronunciation may be referred to as lang. So, what is lang? Lang is, a, is the language system. So, the system that we use in for our day-to-day -day utterances, which comprises of grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation may be referred to as lang. So, lang is a system and it comprises of grammar. The underlying rules that govern the language. It comprises of vocabulary, the words that we use for our day-to-day -day utterances and it also includes pronunciation, the way in which we speak. So, language system which comprises of grammar, vocabulary and pronunciation may be referred to as lang. Now, lang includes all the rules and conventions regarding language. So, all the rules and conventions governing the language is called, known as lang. So, together, all the rules and conventions governing the language can be considered as lang. Lang is social as it is a set of rules shared by the speakers of a language. So, since it is a set of rules which is common to all the users of language or which is shared by all the speakers of language, lang is considered to be social because my lang, the set of rules that I use for communication, the grammar, the vocabulary, the pronunciation will be the same as your lang because these are all rules and conventions that the users of the language must follow. So, lang is social. It is a set of rules shared by all the speakers of language. So, irrespective of who you are or where you are from, for all the speakers of the language, the rules which govern the language are the same. You must follow these rules in order to make yourself comprehensible to the other. So, lang is a set of rules which is shared by all the speakers of the language. So, it's social. Now, Lang is also homogeneous. What do you mean by homogeneous? Lang is homogeneous, which means it pertains to a set of rules. It's finite in number. So, everyone will be using the same set of rules. Hence, it is homogeneous. Everyone will be uttering the uh, whatever that they say and the base would be the same set of rules. Hence, it is homogeneous. It is same for all. The rules are same for all. Now, let's move to parole. Parole is the actual manifestation of the usage of language and varies from person to person. So, when you actually use the language, when you make utterances, then that's known as parole. So, parole is the actual manifestation of the usage of language. How you use a set of rules, that is what is parole is. How you utter or how you use the words, that is parole. So, parole is the actual manifestation of the usage of language. How do you use language? Do you know the vocabulary, the grammar, the pronunciation? How you use it, that is parole. So, parole is the actual manifestation of the usage of language. And parole varies from person to person since it's individual utterances.
parole pertains to individual utterances it varies from person to person my parole won't be the same as your parole the way in which i pronounce a certain word won't be the same as the way in which you pronounce a certain word or a person uh, who knows the language pronounces a certain word bbc english is different than indian english and that is different than your individual utterance right so parole is the actual manifestation or the usage of language of the usage of language and it varies from person to person it differs from person to person now parole on the other hand belongs to the individual so while lang belongs to the social that is it is same for all people parole uh, is individual it belongs to the individual which means that uh, it is up to the individual the utterances that he makes is idiosyncratic which means that it will have his own nuances in it so parole is individual lang is social lang is same for all parole is individual it differs from person to person the usage of lang varies from individual to individual so though people know the set of rules and though people may know the vocabulary they may know the grammar and they may know how even how to pronounce the usage of lang the usage of the set of rules varies from person to person maybe an uneducated speaker won't be able to utter a meaningful sentence in a purely grammatic way in the same manner an ordinary uh, speaker a uh, malayali won't be able to speak uh, in the british rp right it varies from individual to individual so lang though we may know it it varies from individual to individual now parole is heterogeneous which means that it since it varies from individual to individual each individual produce a different set of utterances hence parole is heterogeneous since it varies from individual to individual and since each individual produces or her own set of utterances parole is said to be heterogeneous now i'll give you an example for lang and parole suppose a person knows the entire set of rules grammar pronunciation etc for example one of my friends recently asked me to help her clear the ielts exams so at that time she knew the grammar the vocabulary the pronunciation and everything but the thing was that when she was writing the exam just before it and just after it she said that the problem with me is that i know the grammar i know the pronunciation i know the vocabulary but i won't be able to use it in actual utterance at that time my mind may completely go blank that's because uh, though though lang is same for all individuals parole may differ, differ from person to person that is your individual utterance may differ from your teacher's utterance or from a native speaker's utterance that is why we say that lang is homogeneous lang is same for all the grammar the vocabulary the pronunciation that we learn it's all same for all but its manifestation its actual manifestation or the individual utterances that we make differ from person to person even between friends it may differ that is why we say that parole is heterogeneous so i hope the concepts of lang and parole was clear so this is a sure question for exam please do take it down so lang is a system of rules which govern the language and parole is the actual manifestation of the usage of language lang is social parole is individual it varies from person to person lang means that the rules of grammar syntax and vocabulary pronunciation it is same for all whereas parole is heterogeneous which means that each individual utterance is different is in each individual utterance um, has different origins too. so parole is heterogeneous lang is homogeneous i hope that it was clear now we shall move on to another concept which was propounded by noam chomsky no noam chomsky's concept of competence and performance is somewhat similar to sechore's concepts of lang and peru remember it was ferdinand de sechore in his course in general linguistics who came up with lang and peru and noam chomsky's concept of competence and performance is somewhat similar to sechore's concept of lang and peru 
the difference is that sachs's lang is shared knowledge whereas chomsky's concept of competence varies from person to person thus a speaker a may be more competent than speaker b though they may share the same conventions of language so in competence too chomsky is roughly speaking about the speaker's knowledge of the language but whereas sachs's concept of knowledge is shared that is the language uh, that lang that sachs talked about was a shared knowledge which is common to all speakers of language chomsky's concept of competence varies from person to person so a speaker a may be more competent than speaker b though they may share the same conventions of language however performance like per role is the actual usage of language by the speakers so in performance we are talking about the actual usage of a language by the speaker now let's take a further look at the concepts of competence and performance tj grammer give more importance to the theory of competence because noam chomsky was the propounder of tj grammer too and tj grammer gave more importance to the theory of competence competence as a native speaker's knowledge of a set of internalized rules regarding the language it is a native speaker's knowledge of a set of rules in internalized rules regarding language whatever that he has internalized upon his psyche the internalized set of rules or the speakers the native speakers knowledge of the internalized rules regarding language is called competence whereas performance is the actual sentences that he produce so in performance it is all about the actual sentences that a person may produce now the native speaker is exposed to a finite set of utterances and they understand them so the um, the level of utterances that a native speaker knows is finite it is very limited in number so the native speaker is exposed to a finite set of utterances and they understand them it is a process of generation and not memorization and reproduction so when in the level of competence what happens is you generate a language it's not mere memorization or reproduction of whatever that another person or a much more competent person competent person says like in uh, lang and per rule where lang is the set of rules governing the language but when it comes to competence you need to generate a language it's not just mere rot learning or memorization and then reproduction whatever that you learned through your grammar books uh, that is you are not using grammar translation method here you are directly applying the language you're speaking it because you are a native speaker because it is competence is speaking about the native speaker's knowledge of the internalized set of rules in language so whatever in the, the set of rules are he has internalized it because by default it is its tongue so he has internalized the set of rules that governs the language and though it is finite in number he understands them and then produces an output so he is actually generating utterances rather than just memorizing and reproducing utterances he is generating utterances out of the internalized set of rules that is there within him right that is why it is said that competence is the native speaker's knowledge of a set of internalized rules regarding language whatever rules that he has internalized over the years regarding language he used them to generate language so here we are not talking about memorization or reproduction but we are talking about generation generating language so it is the knowledge of these rules uh, that is the speaker's competence that is the subject for linguist attention so when a linguist analyzes a language he will probably be analyzing a, a speaker's competence that is his knowledge of the internalized rules regarding language now the actual sentences that he produces is called performance now the linguist has to investigate the observable phenomenon of the speaker's performance to arrive at his knowledge of the language that is his competence so uh, for a linguist in order to learn um, competence or if if he is focusing on a 
speaker's ability to generate words or if he is focusing on a speaker's ability uh, or if he is focusing on the on a speaker's knowledge of the internalized set of rules regarding language the linguist has to investigate performance the linguist has to investigate the observable phenomenon of the speaker's performance so whatever that he is speaking the linguist has to investigate that speech phenomenon and arrive at the speaker's knowledge of the language that is when you speak what the linguist does is he analyzes or he investigates the way in which you speak that is he is analyzing the performance and from the performance he will be able to arrive at your competence level that is he will be able to reach at the level of the individual speaker's implicit knowledge whatever things that he knows a linguist may be able to unearth whatever rules that a speaker knows the linguist may be able to unearth the rules that a speaker knows by analyzing his performance by analyzing the actual uh, production of sentences so i hope that it was clear so while competence is a native speaker's knowledge of a set of internalized rules regarding the language performance is the actual uh, sentences that he produces now the native speaker is exposed to a finite set of utterances and they understand them they are exposed to only a limited number of utterances but they are able to understand them and in competence level you are produce generating language it's not just a mere memorization and reproduction but you are able to generate language now in the performance level a linguist has to investigate the observable phenomenon of the speaker's performance to arrive at its implicit knowledge or to arrive at his knowledge regarding the language okay so while competence is the knowledge of the rules regarding the language performance is the actual production of utterances it is the actual sentences that he produces i hope that it was clear thank you